Look, it's Portland. Oh. My hat. My poor little hat. We're in the new world now, Alice. We'll not be needing them anymore. Oh! 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 Nothing could be worse, you say? You spoke too soon. My poor pink frock. Look at you. If Duncan should see you now. It's no laughing matter. If only he truly were here. Perhaps that soldier could help us. Cora, wait! Cora, would you kindly stop and come back here? I'm sorry, miss. We're at war. I believe we're owed an explanation. My sister and I just arrived from England and the most dreadful things have been happening to us. Oh. Hmm? Well, I said! Lean on me, mate. Oh, the French have attacked the colonies. Our roads to Port Edward are blocked. But we must go there to join our father. I'm sorry, miss, but right now we're at war. War? Soon. The Johnson Farm! The Hurons. They did not come to steal. No, they came to kill. This is the black circle of war. The Hurons have sealed an alliance with the French army. All English settlements are likely to suffer harm. Oh! Where do you blokes think you're going? To Fort Edward. Military convoys only from now on. But we have to get to the fort. Then walk on your bloody feet, mate. <laughs> hey, now see stay here, back, I you. Oh. I said stay back. Oh. Oh. Hey, oh. put me down, you blooming idiot. <laughs> Excuse me, we heard you say you were going to Fort Edward. Your hearing is perfect, miss. <laughs> and we'll get there too, you can bet on it. We can't pay our passage, we've no money. But if you could take us along, we'd be most appreciative. It's all right, you can go ahead, but at your own risk. We're back on the road. Oh, good, good. It's okay. We don't need money here, miss, but courage. Did you bring any along with you? You can bet on it. Run 
away, then, you filthy coward! He is not running away. He is going to call the rest of his tribesmen. We've got to get away from here before it's too late. It's already too late. Oh! Well. All right, Major. Now it's your turn to save lives. There's a caravan on its way from Portland. If you don't warn them, it'll be a massacre. My orders, sir, are to bring these soldiers to Fort Edward. The Colonials, I fear, are on their own. So you're saying that your orders count more than their lives? Very well, so be it. I'm terribly sorry. The white man sees everything except for his own folly. We'll save them. Ha! Telekake Kahahoshu. Chikawa. The Hurons rode by here about an hour ago. James, Isaac, all of you, defensive positions. <laughs> Women and children into the wagons. I came to warn you of the danger, only a bit too late. But they've retreated, thanks to you. They'll be back tomorrow morning at sunrise, in greater force. The darkness won't protect us for very long, friend. We have to come to a decision now. This is not a bad place, but they far outnumber us. There's only one way out of here. It's your turn. Don't worry about us. We'll see you later. Have a nasty surprise waiting. Let's go. Fort Edwards isn't far. <sighs> Al! 
Alice! Duncan! Oh, Duncan! <sighs> you were very brave, miss. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. You too, Mr. Stevens. The Hurons would have killed us if those three brave men hadn't sacrificed their lives for us. They're not dead. Cora, dearest, you're obviously very much upset. Come in, Magua. You are to take this dispatch to General Webb. I know I can trust you. Oh, and another thing. My daughters are waiting for me at Fort Edward. Tell them I can't get there at present and warn them not to leave the fort for any reason until my return. Is that all clear? Mm. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Cooper, Mills and Barrett are going along with you. Oh. Why have we stopped then? Good place for horses to drink. Fort Edward, three mile north of river. Magua go to scout out road. If the devil really exists, he looks just like that Indian. Which is why I think the Colonel likes him. But I still say there's a... Oh, all right! Oh, the rifles! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Curses! Magua! Oh. And General Webb is throwing a party in our honor. A grand ball. Duncan and I shall dance. Oh, how we'll dance. And you too must find a gentleman to accompany you. A gentleman, you say? But I don't. What were you writing? Oh, nothing. Let me see. Come on, dear. There must be no secrets between sisters. Alice! <laughs> huh? What? Are you still thinking of that savage? Mm-hmm. Ancus. Cora, I never want to hear you pronouncing that name again. They're wild men removed from civilization. And furthermore, they... You forget they saved our lives. <gasps> Nathalie, you must forget him. I'd never forget him. I don't want to. <clears throat> Cora! When Magua get there, he finds soldiers already dead. Five, maybe six Hurons. Or seven. Mm. You too are a Huron. Who's to say that Colonel Monroe has no doubts as to this man's trustworthiness? Sir. As for the soldiers to be led to Fort Henry, you'll be in charge, Major Duncan. It will be an honor, General Webb. Mm. In any case, we'll come with you. Isn't that right, Cora? Of course. We'll have the servants pack our trunks and... No, it will be a long <gasps> and difficult trek. Ten, perhaps fifteen days' march through the forest. Three days. Oh. If you take shortcut through forest, Colonel Monroe ask Magua to take daughters. What do you think, Duncan? 
I should never dream of disputing the Colonel's orders. But you shall have an escort of at least 20 of my men. We've been riding for hours and hours now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Here we come, girls! to get out of here. But the soldiers, we have to... There's no time. Soon we'll be attacked by other Hurons. <laughs> what is he doing? Those are our horses. Too easy to follow. <laughs> Come along, Cora. May I ask where you're leading us? We're supposed to meet Major Duncan on the road to Fort Henry. Are you listening, sir? I'll not take another step until you've informed me as to your intentions. We're not just taking a leisurely stroll through the woods, Miss Monroe. At this moment, the Hurons are already on our trail. We will discuss the feasibility of your meeting your precious Major Duncan once we have gotten your lives and ours to safety. Now, come on. Magua is back! The Mohicans and Long Rifle have killed Hurons! Today, they must die! Surely you don't mean to. This way, we won't be leaving any footprints. It's your turn now. But I... <coughs> How dare you, sir? It isn't hard at all. <coughs> A little exercise will warm you up. Come on. <laughs> now at least you have clean feet. <laughs> Look, there's the third canoe. Ah! 
Faster! Faster! Kota na hawa! Ne hawa! Ne hawa! Faster! Faster! Rapids ahead! Bear left now! Go! <coughs> Yoko! Hakana Magwa! Uh -huh. They already did. <laughs> Hold on tight! <laughs> I truly thought my hour had come. It's all over now, thank goodness. What's that sound? The reason the Hurons aren't following. The Glen Waterfall. Oh. The shore is too far away, and the current is too strong! Atta! Mawa! Oh, this is madness! We'll be dashed to pieces! Mawa! We have to swim for it, before the canoe breaks up! But we'll all die! We will die if we don't! That branch is our only hope! I am oldest! Oh. oh no! Come! Keep a good grip on each other. Use every ounce of strength you have. Try to make it to the shore. Now! We're almost there! I can't make Cora. it! Anki! Hey, ha wa! Ma Hakame! Long Rifle and Mohegan's all dead! Hakapamai! They may be dead, or maybe very clever. I don't like that crazy old coot, and I don't <laughs> like this forest. <laughs> ah, lay off, bird. You'll be calling evil eye down on us. A splendid specimen, gentlemen. I've already given it a scientific name, but I need a more common one. What would you call this, Bertram? Mm, I'd call it a Dagnia butterfly. Very well, it shall be known as Dagnabia Marchbanksia from now on. To horse, gentlemen. We shall proceed northwards. We're a pretty long ways from civilization. It's full of engines in these here parts. We'll win them over with these. Them Hurons ain't really interested in jewelry, Doc. Here, let's call it a little bonus for your sterling efforts. Mm. Aha! <laughs> At your orders, Professor. What you gonna do with all them bugs you're collecting, Professor? Open up circus? We could've just stayed in Port Edward and collected little fleas off all them dogs in town. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue, Professor? Huh? Where is he? Bert, what's going on? Uh, hey, Jens! Hey. Go! Go! Ah. Ah. Holy! Uh. Oh. <laughs> now. <laughs> Four 
old Terry is back the other way. <gasps> Why are we going in the opposite direction? Wukaman, hi, Lal. Chief Great Serpent was just explaining to you that the shortest way is not always the quickest. Do you mean to say there are Hurons behind us? They can be anywhere. So we'll stick to this path. It's narrow, but it's well hidden. Teagua! What's happening now? Something coming. Maybe a bear. <gasps> Too much noise to be a bear. Probably nothing more than a very foolish white man. I say, by Jove, where the deuce is the pop? Oh, the Lord be praised, it's an Englishman! Mm. Ah, finally, a human being. Just a moment, my dear chap. Whiny Oka, the Ki Pata Ali Na Yip Yan. Put away your phrase book, sir. That's Iroquois. My friend here is a Mohican. Who happens to speak English perfectly. What a pleasant surprise. Two well-bred young English ladies in this wilderness. I'm Alice Monroe, and this is my sister Cora, Mr... Sir Huxtable Marchbanks, at your service. Entomologist and explorer for the University of London. Did you do your exploring with only one mule? I was accompanied by three guides, good sir, but earlier this morning they took their wages and ran off. Why, the very idea! Mm. Hmm. Do come with us, Sir Huxtable. Our companions here will protect you. Hmm? Hmm. But if you go on making that infernal racket, we won't be able to protect anyone at all. I shall walk more silently than a cat on velvet. And without the mule. Are you quite mad, good sir? These specimens have inestimable scientific value. What sort of wisdom is it that steals a butterfly from the heavens and imprisons it inside a bottle? Martin Banks here. Uh, oh, dear. You may not think much of modern science, good sir, but it has opened great horizons. And frozen the hearts of those who practice it. Make your choice. Are you coming along with us, or are you going with your mule? That's no way to address a gentleman. No, but it's a way of not getting scalped, which is what happened to the professor's three guides. Well, professor? You have made your point quite lucidly, indeed. Very well. Uncle's take point. Hmm. Ladies, if you please. Professor, it is time to hurry. Yes, of course. I'm quite ready, my dear fellow. Quite ready. Rapids and falls, there's never a moment's peace around here. The inside, hurry up. <gasps> Perfect. No one can get in from out here. I entrust the girls to you, Professor. Stay here and don't make a sound. We'll bring back something to eat. You may have every confidence in me, my dear sir. I shall most certainly not disappoint you. Come along, my dear sir. Some very foolish person has lit a fire. Makeshift fireplace is drawing quite satisfactorily indeed. Oh, what is it? Rest more, dear heart. Soon we shall be having a lovely hot meal. Hmm? Are you quite mad? What's wrong, Miss Cora? What's wrong is that you're an idiot. <coughs> My dear How sir. How dare you? 
Let go of him. I should wring your neck. You were supposed to wait here silently. I didn't make any noise. You did much worse. The smoke, it can be seen for miles and miles. You mean to say that the Hurons... The Hurons, yes. They're already here. Oh dear, I'm sure I quite beg your pardon. Shh. I think we should be quiet now, Professor. What we're going to do is talk in loud, ringing tones instead. And then I had the extraordinary good luck to capture a first-rate specimen of Ruteria sylvestris, which one would never have expected at that latitude. And when I sent it to the Royal Academy, my colleagues were simply flabbergasted, especially that old stick-in-the-mud fothering game. Don't fire. I'll tell you when it's time. Get ready? Yes! Goodness! I do believe we both hit the same man. Yes, you're quite the sharpshooter, Miss Alice. Get one! I say, my dear fellow, I... I have a suspicion that that was nothing more than a lucky shot. But be that as it may, thank you, Professor. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Let's hope it stays with me. <laughs> the bullet went right through his thigh. He's losing a lot of blood. got in my eye. Hmm, I see. There's a sniper hidden up there in that tree. At the top of the sycamore. Stay down or he'll pick us all off. But can't we just try to pick him off? No, we can never draw a bead on him. Don't worry about me, Miss Alice. I'm half savage after all, and as such, not very easy to kill off. They're retreating. <laughs> oh, the Lord be praised. We're safe. Hmm. No one is safe. The day is dying, and we are likely to die tomorrow. <sighs> the Chief is right. We're almost out of ammunition, and the Hurons know it's only a question of time. But that means we're doomed, aren't we? Well, there's no way out of here. We can repel their next attack, perhaps the next two, but then the end will come. I'm very sorry. Have you lived for long with the Indians? All my life, you could say. I was only four years old when the Hurons wiped out my entire family. I would have been food for the wolves if Great Serpent hadn't found me. Since then, he and Uncas have been my family. And the name, Hawkeye? How did you come by that? The Indians name a person after an animal or thing that typifies that person's characteristics. So, Great Serpent chose that name for me because I was always a pretty fair shot. Um, among the Hurons, I'm known as Long Rifle. But I never did know the name my mother picked out for me. Hawkeye, bring fire! No, 
now it's just a question of time. I am for jumping into the waterfall. We'll die all the same, but at least those dogs won't get our scalps. Mm, don't count on me, my dear fellows. I greatly prefer to meet death with dry feet. Let's do it, Uncas. The Hurons will undoubtedly spare the lives of two young girls and an old man. No, I'm coming with you. <coughs> Go, the three of you. I feel absolutely certain that you'll come back to our rescue. You're absolutely right, Miss Alice. Yes, I swear it. <coughs> They're almost on us. Let's go. You're coming back to me, Ancus. I know. Well, friends, that's something I would not hesitate to call an excellent reason for returning. <laughs> ah. Save us trouble of killing them. Chingat Cook, grab on to Betsy. <laughs> Some demon must have been blowing on the river. I've never seen the waters so angry. Uncas? Mm -mm. huh? Let go of me, you savage! Calm down, Alice. Don't provoke them. Eklar honikala patihom! Let oh. go, you uh. wretch! <laughs> Come! The river run red with blood of Huron warriors, and we have two girls to show for it. Pihena, come! Black cares, come with me. Set a head while Helen Chicam. Get on horse now, woman. Now, just a moment. There's an injured man in that cave. He'll die if you don't... Magua warrior, not jackal. Hmm. Hush! Thank you. Soon your wounded friend not suffer any more. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought you had forgotten all about me. Well, chaps, what's the verdict? Hey, 
Your gesture is eloquent. O oh Lord, I place my sinful soul into thy hands. Forgive my unworthy conduct. I once ate a sausage of a Friday. I cracked on the high note of the fifth psalm. I stole a lemon drop from Granny's cabinet, or perhaps it was two. Such a long time has gone by. Now, oh, hey! Very well. Proceed, my dear fellows. <laughs> What monster have you selected that might cleanse my evils? Actually, I do believe I'm still quite alive and I... Did you find anything? No. Maybe we should check the other shore too. The Huron territory is to the northeast. That's where Magua is going. And Uncas is following them. He left a marker for us. A marker? Yes. I'm surprised you didn't spot it. Road still very long. You must eat, or you both dead before we reach end of trip. Oh. Hmm. Wait. What are your intentions regarding us? Where are you taking us? Mm -hmm. Return us to our father. I promise you, he will give you a great deal of money. No money can pay for what gray hairs do to Magua. Only blood good enough. Why do you bear such hatred for our father? Platoon commanded by Grey Hairs attack Magua's village at night. He think only warriors inside tents. He set fire. Women, children, Magua's <gasps> sister, Magua's grandfather and grandmother all burned alive like torches. When Grey Hairs finally die, Magua take his hot heart out of his body and eat it! But first he will know that his daughter is Magua's wife. That way he will die in helpless misery, knowing that her children are half Huron! No! Take me! Kill me if you must! Magua not want you, but our other Hurons who like very much yellow hairs. You'll never get away with this, Magua. <gasps> Uncas will come back and kill you. Your Uncas follow us like Shadow. He pick off my men one by one, but he make one big mistake. He think Magua fool. Elk very clever beast, but Rattlesnake also very clever. His fangs inside you, even when you think he asleep. Oh. The real reason we separated was so that the rest of your men could set a trap for Ancus, right, Magua? Black hair's very clever. Now death sits next to Mohegans. Oh, my dear lord! Here we are, Ancus! Father, look out! Go now, blonde hairs. Try not to fall into your washiku hell. Oh, don't worry, Alice dear. Just hold on tight. 
You there! What you doing? I'm taking off my boots. In bare feet, I shall gain better purchase. Hmm. Shalom. Ha Musa wat shikasa. Mehem. Akitu. Well, the trail couldn't be any clearer. If the hunt is too easy, then it might be that the prey is cleverer than the hunter. What is it, Father? When a horse eats, it selects the greenest leaves. This one did it, then did it again. They're taking their sweet time. Too sweet. Only a horse without a rider has that much time to waste. Hi, Vader! Back! Back! We kept our eyes only on the trail, like stupid mushroom hounds. Father! I'll be fricasseed. Curse him. Be calm, son. Your Kara is trying to tell us something. Huh? Huh? What is wrong? Nothing at all, really. I'm just tired. Behind innocent baby oh. face, you hide wilds of serpents. But Magua cut out many serpents' tongue. No! Ha, Quake! Ancestors, my greetings, Shakwahil. Of course, in sixty years or so. <laughs> you stinker! <laughs> Your knife wounds no better than old woman's knitting needle, Mohican. Your tongue is sharper than any blade you ever had, Pawisha. <laughs> you finished, Shakwahil. Think again, Magua. Huh? Ricasseed. 
We have seen a real demon in flesh and blood. Are you wounded? <sighs> Might there be a gentleman here who could be troubled to free my wrists from their jives? Miss Alice, I hate to admit it, but I've missed the sound of your voice. Perhaps his body is still in there. We'll know in a moment. Come with me, but keep your eyes open. Bones. Are these uh, Huxtables? No, just one of the local fauna. And not pretty much right down to the quick. What is it? Why are you looking so strangely? <laughs> what is... A... Shoot! <laughs> no, no, you mustn't. He's a friend. He doesn't want to harm you. Well, I'll be... Fricasseed. Professor, you're Look alive and well. And in fine fettle, my dear Miss Cora, and all thanks to Oscar here. Take it easy. We just want to talk to you and your friends. But <laughs> There's Jackson now. And I see he's got company. Nice job. Congratulations. Uh. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> so you're the ones carrying out these ignoble massacres. The frontier isn't the place for anyone with a delicate stomach. No, oh, hold on. This isn't about stomachs. It's about the conscience you don't seem to have, mister. There's no law that says a man can't hunt. That's good enough for us. <laughs> what are you looking at, sir? <laughs> well, there's no law that says a man can't look at a pretty girl, is there? <laughs> <laughs> My pal here would like to play with you. <laughs> well, I see the circus has come to town, all complete. Wild animals, savages, pretty ladies, and of course, a clown. <gasps> well, slime like you doesn't make anyone laugh, you can believe it. It just makes a man want to reach real quick for his right... Hey, if you're looking for trouble, you've come to the right Take place. Take it easy. We got what we came here for. We don't need to waste any more time on these idiots. I'd thank your boss if I were you. He just saved your life. Oh, they're just... Human refuse, Miss Alice, of the worst species. They're just four jackals. Now that they know who we are, they'll steer clear of us. He's still alive. I can hear his heartbeat. Those pigs. They left <gasps> him here to die in oh. agony. No. <laughs> Farewell, noble friend. Rest in peace. I thank you for your gift, friend Stag. May your flesh invigorate our bodies and bring wisdom to our spirits this day. But you... you can't possibly mean to... The damage has been done, Miss Alice. Leaving him here for the buzzards would just be a waste. Oh, stop it! It's true. Come back to the campfire, Alice, dear. I can't accept this world the way you do. Listen, it won't last much longer. Soon we'll be in Fort Harry with Papa and Duncan, and you'll go back to the life you prefer. You're right. It'll soon be over. And he won't be tormenting me anymore. He's not tormenting you, silly. He's just lacking in some of the finer points of chivalry, that's all. He doesn't click his heels like... Like Duncan, you were about to say. Oh! Oh! Uncas! Harry! Harry! Help her! Do something! <laughs> Hurry, kill it before it kills me! <laughs> Don't 
worry, he's not going to hurt you. He just wants to be friends. Take out your hand toward him. Trust me, Alice. He is just like a dog. A most remarkable encounter, most remarkable. No, he is simply a domesticated wolf, not unheard of. What are you doing so far from home, friend? He even has a medallion. As you can see, we're not all bloodthirsty beasts around here. me for doing you in while you was trying to escape. Friends, little warrior. Now, where did that man go? <laughs> oh! Yeah, we meet oh. again. <clears throat> Cora! <laughs> well, I think those two know how to take care of themselves just fine. Batman. He got what he deserved. But there are the other three, and they're hunting the bear. Oscar? That'll do just fine. Light it up, quick. Get your rifles ready, he's coming out. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, great spirit, with all our hearts. This day you have been merciful. Be sure to keep your eyes open, Captain. Something worrying you, Major? Yes, our supposed allies, the Hurons. I doubt that a bunch of savages can constitute a peril for His Majesty's army. Major! Look here, there's a man on the ground, an Indian. Take a look, will you, Sergeant? Uh, come along, chum.
Careful, Sergeant. It could be a trap. Uh. Magua! Oh, no! Uh. Oh. Where are Alice and Cora? They should have been at Fort Harry days ago! Hurons, they attack, kill whole escort, take girls, Magua escape. I ought to kill you with my own hands! <sighs> I should never have trusted you! Magua, keep word. Help white men find two women and take them back. Now where are they? In Huron village. Magua knows where. And just where the devil did you jump out from? <laughs> hey, mate! Look what I found! <laughs> Look out, a wolf! No, Yaku! What's going on here? You little brat! It will be dark very soon. We make camp here. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was starting to get the feeling that my bones were melting. <laughs> now what's wrong? Is she? She's all right. Is something the matter? It's all my fault. I frightened him off with all my stupid talk about turning him into a little gentleman. Miss Alice, intentions are what count after all, and yours were noble. Do you, do you really think so? Thank you so much. <gasps> Yaku, little dagger has come back. Hmm? Oh. Ah. oh dear me, he's wounded. Nothing serious though. A rifle bullet. Oh, the poor thing. <laughs> Oh. He wants us to follow us. I've brought you food, brat. I'll set your hands free, but don't think I'm going soft. I'm only doing it because I don't feel like spoon feeding you. I should have stayed with those two English girls. What? You speak English? Which girls were you just talking about? Cora and Alice. They treated me like a baby, but still, they were good. Hold on there. Cora and Alice Monroe, in that case, they're prisoners of your tribe. What do you mean, prisoners? They're going to the fort with two white men and two Mohicans. Then that means that savage has been lying to us. <laughs> Shh. Quiet, little one. So, you are with the English girls. Do you know them? They are good friends of Magua. Mohicans, my brothers. Where are they? They're making for Fort Harry. They're keeping to the west side of the woods to avoid the Hurons. Mm, that's very good. Mm. Now go back and join your friends. Now run. Little warrior must not end up slave to English soldiers. Thanks. What the devil are you up to, Sheridan? <laughs> Huh? Oh, no. What's the matter, Sergeant? Sheridan was right. The little boy was a spy. He killed him and ran off, sir. He's sure to warn the rest of his tribe. We have to recapture him. No, we can move faster. We start now. We get to his camp before he does. Hmm. Great Spirit, help me. Am I dead? <laughs> This is the end for us, old friend. <gasps> Little dagger! You're alive, thank goodness! Are you alright? I'm fine. What's going on here? Who wounded Yaku? 
Some soldiers, they captured me. But a good friend of yours saved me. He's a great warrior. His name is Magua. Magua? Magua? By Jove, where have you all disappeared to? I assure you, my good Native American fellows, that I am no enemy of yours whatsoever. I come in peace from the far British Isles. <laughs> 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 I'm frightfully sorry, chaps, but I could do no more. Look, Father, the rifles are loaded, but none of them were fired. We didn't fire either, Ancus, and for the same very good sure. reason. Because we didn't want anyone to know we were in these parts. It all seems nice and quiet, sir. Not for much longer. Are you ready, Sergeant? Absolutely, Major. Were you planning a pincer movement? Yes, Sergeant. Take the left flank. Silence the sentinels, but avoid useless bloodshed. There are women and children down there. <coughs> oh, dear Lord, give me strength. Are the men ready? At your order, sir. Very well. Charge! Hurry! Hurry! Halt! What is it, sir? I don't know. We cannot get down from here. We must follow the lip of the cliff till it hits the valley. Well, let's get moving. I'll be fricasseed. A trap! Curses! We're lost! Some guardian angels, sir. Well, it seems, but they can't do everything. Turn your horses! If we ah! must die, we'll do so gallantly! Hurry, Uncas, there's no time! <laughs> you filthy traitor! <laughs> What? I don't believe it! Yeah! Alice! Now, Tigua! Duncan! Take ah! cover! Ah! Now, Uncas! <laughs> Kaya! Oh. Ah! 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 The wall! It's been breached! Men! Follow me! Oh. Shiwi! Hand me a loaded rifle, quick! There's no more powder! <laughs> uh. 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 
Hé, <rire> mon vieux, elle te vient facilement, la frousse, hein Je vais te faire voir ce que veut dire la frousse, imbécile oh, Ne te fâche pas, je plaisantais seulement. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Il y a des visiteurs. Oh The English strategy is very clear. Attack and then retreat tout de suite in order to prepare a new defense. Ben quoi, mon ami, come in. You were saying, Capitaine Voilà. With these tactics, the English avoid our army and our platoons are torn apart at every battle. It happened here and here. Our strategy is taking a heavy toll in both men and morale. C'est la guerre. We have no other choice, Capitaine. The strategy we have decided on is the only possible one. Gentlemen, with this strategy, we allow the enemy to make up for his inferior numbers. But we will not allow ourselves to be frightened. We must recognize the valor of our enemy. It is evident that the military academies of England have worthy teachers, and that Colonel Munro proved himself a worthy student. Vive la France! Vive le roi! Magua not understand French soldier. What perplexes you, mon ami? Huron feel only hate for English. No admire, only hate for enemy. And where will this hate of yours take us? To Fort Henry, my other road. Come on. A canoe. Yes. As a matter of fact, it's a Huron war canoe, but it'll carry us very nicely. <coughs> Excellent. This will save us an unwanted and arduous swim. Well, if you don't capsize the boat, Professor. Oh. We haven't come more than half a mile. This is only an island in the middle of the lake. We'd best get out. What about the fort? We'll never find it in this fog. I can't see any farther than my rifle. But we'll be safe enough here for tonight. <laughs> the mists are lifting. Let's get moving before the French catch sight of us. Want your scalp, oh. Englishman? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Major Duncan, sir. I'm sorry about that. Quite all right, MacGregor. It was very boring sentry detail tonight. Kidu approaching, sir. Hmm, what? Indeed. It seems I spoke too soon. To bed with you, MacGregor. I'll take care of this little unpleasantness. Well, you lazy swine, move your weapons into position. Hurry! Sir, I don't believe those are enemies. Nonsense. Who else could have passed through the French lines? By Jove, it just can't be. Damnation. They'll spot us for sure. Huh? C'est l'ennemi! Aux armes! Oh! Oh! Uh, aim your cannon, hurry! On the canoe, sir! No, you fool on the French battery! Fire on their cannons! 
Hale, hale. Into the water, now. I... That last shot came too close. They'll hit us with the next one. Move. Say, uh, Professor, uh, get going. It's rather too early for a dip what with my rheumatism and all. Uh, 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 Scribed an imposition, sir. Give me that. Répondez au feu. Répondez vite. Where is he? <laughs> Swim for it. The fort isn't far. <laughs> Hurry! Hurry! Alice! My very dearest! Allow me to help you. You're just the slightest bit bedraggled, my dear. That's ever so much better. I've been terribly worried about you. And about your dear sister Cora, of course. I most certainly hadn't forgotten about her, but as you well know, you, my dear, are the most precious thing in the world for me. Let's say we save the howdy-do's for later and get out of the line of fire. Those parlevos make a lot of noise, but they're not real fighting men. Don't be afraid, old chap. Alice, Cora, let's not make your father wait one second longer. Come along, there's good girls. Where does that idiot think he is? With the governor's fancy dress ball? I want to hear all about your adventures in the wilderness and forests. Oh, Duncan. You can't possibly even begin to imagine. Hey, it's all <gasps> Hawkeye! Gather round, boys. We missed your rifle, chum. Where the entire nation you been? Now we'll kick them Frenchmen in the hind end. <laughs> <laughs> I see the chaps who brought you here have found some friends of their own. They're wonderful men, Duncan. Don't you see how the others respect them? Uh, doubtless, doubtless. Well, we'll let the locals celebrate in but... a manner that seems fitting to them. Come along, then. Come on. We don't want to be left behind. Hey, hurry! Good evening, gentlemen. After you, ladies. <sighs> what the? Hey, you! Hmm. Tell these idiots to stand aside. Terribly sorry, but it's a private occasion. An occasion that's taking place because of us. Very well. You may come in, my good man. Follow me. Where the devil do you think you're going? Don't you know how to count? Look, including the professor, there are four of us. And only I got through. Uh. I'm sure I beg your pardon, professor. In all the hustle and bustle, I failed to notice you. But as far as the Indians go, the Colonel does not like to receive natives in his private quarters. What? Well, he won't enjoy receiving what I have to tell him either. Your manners, my dear chap. Hmm. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is this your idea of gratitude? How dare you, sir? We risked our lives to save your daughters, and you slammed the door in our faces. <clears throat> this is one of those brave men. Ah, yes. The three friends you made mention of. Well, young man, your manners may not be of the most polished, but you've certainly earned my gratitude. Your gratitude is meaningless, sir, if it does not extend to my companions. He means the Mohegans I was telling you about and the professor. Sir Huxtable Marchbanks, a renowned English entomologist. In that case, we shall invite the good professor to dinner with us tonight, and his Indians shall have a triple ration of rum. They are not his Indians. And they are not drunkards. Certainly, certainly. And for you, my fine fellow, there will be, of course, a, a rich reward in golden guineas. I am not a mercenary. So? Papa is merely trying to find a way of expressing his thanks. But it's not enough. He must receive Uncas and Great Serpent at once. <laughs> you always wear a hot-headed little thing. You're still overcome by the perils of your adventure. Mm, the Indians, the forest, ferocious animals. You don't know what you're saying. The truth is very different, Cora. You really should let Cora be the one to say it, if she so chooses. Of course. Now come along, my dear. Let's go and meet these fine savages of yours. 
And if they don't want fire water, some trumpery medals and a rusty rifle will make them happy. <laughs> Cora! How can you allow him to talk like that? I can see it's useless and always has been. The mists have lifted, and Uncas has finally seen the thorns that surround and protect the flower he desires. But Great Serpent, please, where did he go? It is impossible to say. He just seemed to melt into the shadows, my dear Miss Cora. Uncas! The forest is thick. The French ain't good all the well, way through it yet. Well, just don't let the Redcoats see you. They have this idea that anyone who feels like a change in scenery is a deserter. We're walking out of here in broad daylight. If anyone in this fort feels like stopping us, he's welcome to try. Well, in that case, good luck. There have been many surprises today. Too many, in fact. So let's try to get everything back the way it should be and at once. I spoke with your sister, and I'm inclined to forgive and forget. Obviously, the dangers of your trip caused you to lose your head a bit. Is that really what you believe, Alice? No, Cora. I simply believe... It shouldn't take more than three or four days away from the company of that uh, fellow to bring you back to your senses again. I'm convinced of it. Excellent. I see you understand. I wonder what the cook has prepared for luncheon. I'm sorry, Father. I'm truly terribly sorry. I was mistaken, and I admit it. Yes. I made the mistake of trying to present Uncas to you as though he were just an English gentleman. But he is much more than that, Papa. He has more strength, honesty and dignity than any man I've ever met. You refuse to see it, and so you leave me no choice. I'm going away with him today, with or without your permission. What? Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Uncas! Cora! My love! Just let me say... Uh, shh! No, do not worry. I, too, made my share of mistakes. Mm. But now I know your love will be stronger than any obstacle, which is why I am telling you, stay with your father. Give him another chance to open his eyes. Let him see the star that shines within you, the star that guides uh, our lives. Young love, how touching. <sighs> I will be back very soon. You're leaving? Aren't you happy, Miss Alice? The rude and uncultured element is leaving your life, so you can go back to being as unbearable as always. <gasps> oh. Major! Sir! Have the sentries open the gate at once for these three... Deserters, sir? No, no, no need to get overzealous, my lad. Three men, more or less, aren't going to make a difference. No, we'll just let them make their way back to the forest, and may it swallow all three of them up forever. <laughs> 